Okay, this is going to be a quickest review I can do on the NEU. Un -un I have no idea how to pronounce this. NEU link cable. Amazon very kindly put the label all the way over the box so I can't um, show you it, but this is it. Um, it's a power injected link cable. You've got power by USB C going into it, and then you've got your normal connection to the headset and the data connection to PC. And there's a specific way you need to wire this up. You need it on charge first. Um, then to your PC, then the headset. Otherwise, it becomes a bit buggy. These aren't, I don't think they actually meet any USB specs. So, um, there's different brands of these, and they all vary on reliability. I have no idea how this one's going to last. But um, just straight away showing that I'm on a 45 watt Anker Nano power brick. I'm only getting 17 watt charge into the headset. And the Pico 4s can do 25 watt or even above 25 watt. So, for the Pico 4 at least, this is no good. For a Quest 3, the Quest 3 is limited to 18 watt anyway. Um, it doesn't have a, a constant 18 watt, it's just a, that is your maximum. So if I just take the same cable and go into the Pico 4, and turn this around so you can see. Right way up, and that would help. This is going to just creep up and it'll keep going, keep going into 25, 26, 27, 28 watt, I don't know. Um, we'll find out in a second. So the headset's powered on, the screens aren't on. Um, so this is Pico 4 obviously having a, a faster charge than the Quests, but it also means that with this cable at least, I'm not getting the full efficiency from my power supply. I'm not getting the 25, 25 whatever watts charge into the headset when I'm doing that link cable. Um, and this is not said anything about having a max charge rate, not on the listing. Um, I think your mileage is going to vary depending on what brands, but this is quite clearly not going to get near 27, 27 watt, whatever this is saying at the minute. Um, 29 there for a brief flash. I don't know why Pico have yet again increased the charge rate, but that's good, I suppose. That's what Quest 3 really needs to do. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking of buying these cables, I would just suggest testing what the charge rate is. I know the QJECT cable, similar design. Same idea, you plug USB-C in. They do two versions, one that doesn't support any anywhere near 18 watt, and then a second one that does support 18 watt. Both of those are notoriously unreliable, and uh, they, they fail after a certain amount of time, either stop charging or give you connection issues. I have no idea this, how this one's gonna fare. Um, this is new to me, I'll test it for a bit, but in all honesty, the fact it doesn't charge at the full rate that my charge is sending through is a bit of a kick in the balls. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to stretch infinite playtime, it probably will still drain the battery on the Pico 4 with virtual desktop godlike and all the other bells and whistles I've got running in the background, but we'll find out. So that's my quick overview of the INU, the box I can't show you, INU link cable. Cheers.